verses, I want to make sure I'm controlling behind his knee. So when I get to this position, I've already got control. This one's always easy to get in. This one's the one that gets messed up a lot of times. Okay? So I don't want both feet in between his legs because we won't get much power. But what I do want you to focus on is at some point, say that, at some point before I get to my crab ride, I want the foot, the laces of the foot to the side I'm going to be searching for this area of his body. Does that make sense to everybody? Because once I pull him here, okay, see how I'm already set with my anchor? And then, like I said, that, that other one's easy, okay? So, as I jam him forward, whether I'm spiral or thigh fry, and I'm dropping, this thing helps a lot. Because when I drop, it pulls me right back on top. Some of you guys' hands all over the place. It's deep in his crotch. If you're worried about touching him somewhere in his crotch, then this might not be the sport for you. Okay, it's gonna happen. Okay, so this hand's deep, this is my anchor. So when I drop and wrap and get here, and I start to float, I'm driving off this backside foot, but I'm starting to get to this position, okay? I'm starting to get here, okay? If he goes all the way to the tip, I'll just change and turn him here, but I want this guy flexing his core and sitting up, so we end up in this position, okay? I want this bottom guy, when he gets pulled to crab, to try to get to a core flex position. All right, that's gonna be what the highest level guys do. They're not gonna let us stretch him out. That's the worst thing in the world this guy could let me do is stretch him out. Fingers to spine, chest on top of the fingers. Go ahead and start setting those laces right here. Eight points of control. Then we'll start talking about stretching this guy out and turning him here in a second. But we've gotta get to that kind of home base position so we can start reading what he's doing. Questions? Good? Let's get it, go.